So I've been riding bikes since 2004. So racing was pretty much my primary goal. Training and riding were obviously things that I enjoyed doing, but I didn't have much appreciation for the whole bike community aspect, the trail builders, the bike shops. I didn't, I didn't have the same awareness I have now about all that community that involved racing. I was, I kind of feel now that I was kind of in my own bubble and didn't realize how much um, the whole industry and the whole community of mountain biking um, had to do with everything um, that involved racing and um, competing. Now that I've been back a little bit more into the community and into the mountain biking world, I have a much bigger appreciation for everyone working in the industry of cycling in general. I'm, I'm way more grateful um, of how that industry helped me when I was a kid and kind of like influenced me into the decisions and built the career that I have right now that is coaching and most importantly coaching for mountain bikers and everybody in the outdoor industry. So in reality, this whole community kind of influenced me into the choices that I made and uh, made me the coach that I am today and made and influenced all the decisions that I took um, across the past years, just wanting to coach a lot more people into the outdoor um, sports. So today I'm heading down to Sutton, um, the closest trails near where I live and I'm just gonna go and give back that appreciation to the trails that they have created in the past years and um, how big of an impact that has into my mental health just riding bikes and just like help those guys uh, we're, I think we're gonna be a crew of 126 people about 30 different teams just divided because of COVID and um, we're all each gonna have our team leader and we're gonna go and clean down some trails so um, yeah, so I've, in the past I've done some of these, but I haven't done in a while. And yeah, I kind of want to give my appreciation back to, to all those trail builders that uh, have made amazing trails. Sudden is one of my favorite places to go ride. Um, it's just the vibe around the mountain that makes me feel home. Um, it's calm. It's the type of riding, the type of terrain that I really enjoy doing. Um, the level of difficulty is can be quite challenging and at the same time you can go mellow you don't always have to go balls to the wall so that's why I really like sudden and uh, yeah so we're gonna go help those guys and let these uh, little cats uh, sleep back home Just by design with her. Keep a baddie on the side with her. She drop the top when she ride with her. Middle December, it feel like July. Oh, man, bye, Leafy. So me and the girls just cleaned up the bottom section of the mountain, part of La Lutin and the Tucker, which are two uh, connecting trails in the bottom part of the mountain. And got to go now because I have a running workout running workout of the week which is five minutes on one minute off for 60 minutes I like that workout that workouts fun it's a slightly faster pace than what I'll be running for the half marathon in three weeks it up in it bounce it we does it big up in it bounce it stacks and hit up in it bounce it So I completely bonked, <laughs> um, at least I I surpassed the, vo the, the, the volume I, I ran last week and that was the main goal, just to have more volume this week. This upcoming week will be the 
the last week of, of high volume and then just taper down to the half marathon. So I read the news before going for my run and <sighs> logged down again, fucking over this. So read that and thought about it during the whole run and started way too hot. Just like wanted to burst all that energy out and all that frustration down on the run and I ran with emotion. So it was good for, for a while and I'll just call it a day. A little volunteering and a good running workout even if I even if I didn't finish it, I think it's probably the second or third workout that I don't completely finish as prescribed this year. So it's not too bad. You gotta listen to your body. And I just had, didn't have it in me anymore. So I'm just tired of these lockdowns. I'm just totally over this shit. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to normal. I don't know when that's going to be. Anyways, that'll be it for today. And uh, don't know if I'll, I'll grab the camera again this week. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you, if you like the, if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it, well, please subscribe and like, comment, do all that stuff. So until, until next time, see ya.